how to extract the data with the tracker again so i'm gonna upload the golf ball wait few seconds until it loaded up Click OK, rotate the video. Negative 90. Right click, clip setting. Set time into frame rate 240. Axis right here. Uh, make the starting point to around 300 and 50 anything is fine like 350 around there okay i'm going to set it 352 that should be fine then we'll set it up um calibration is tick new calibration is tick shift and one click at the origin that where you need to make sure y0 and then click and another click just around here number here should be 1.829 six feet from the ground create point mass then we'll select the data shift and one click this first click doesn't matter actually just click anywhere on the ball we're going to get rid of that that point anyway so you no need to worry about it then move the ball a little bit but a little bit downward like about few millimeters from the previous and then one click all the object one more click and all the object one more click and then so on this is x that's why that has to change into y okay looks good so far oh wait visibly a little bit lower than previous one click and then you continue we need about like 12 data points okay so far i have five six seven ten Twelve. Okay, that's it. Then we'll copy time directly into here. We'll copy later into the table exactly where it's supposed to go. And then Y copy into here. Okay, that looks good. Then we'll copy this time values from here to here into the table and y values uh, even this first uh, first data point is not zero we're going to get rid of that basically we're going to assume that point is zero so we can just get rid of that point by putting zero there we'll copy this whole number and then make this point zero then the next point you need to subtract previous value to be pushing all the points downward so you need to subtract the previous point and then click and drag this new y values should go here okay and when you copy paste make sure you copy paste as a values only okay now it's good now this data we don't need okay so what i did here first point right here just put zero purposely this one but for right here we did the calculation okay which means this number right here let's subtract that from this that's it let me add that function here 
this is the function I use for g number nine. All right, and then click and drag. This should be unit meters. Should be time unit second. And the velocity should be unit of the second. Let's calculate velocity equal sign two multiplied by the displacement divided by the time. Divide by the time and then click and drag. All of these should be should not be in scientific notation, which means how many of uh, this number area right here should change into numbers we can keep four decimal places for all of those okay right, so we have velocity and then we can uh, then we can take a look uh, how the oh i think i did a simple mistake here this should be time that should go here my calculated y displacement that actually should go here let me copy paste that all right now it's good because velocity should continuously increasing maybe this should be somewhere like four meters per second so here let's make a graph insert scatter plot and our graph figure number two Double click on the graph sheet. Chart design. Select data and X values. We need time. Y values. We need velocity. Should, we should get rid of the zero for velocity graph okay good take a look there's one data point do something here let me take a look why Oh no, it's good. But then the chart design, positive sign right here, axis title, uh, trend line. This title right here, you can write maybe graph ball, uh, velocity graph, and the, the axis title here should be. Time x axis and the y axis should be velocity. We can say y velocity. Unit meter per second. Then the graph name should be velocity time for golf ball. Okay. Right, then the positive sign, the trend line, and click double click on the trend line. Last option right here, then click last two options here. The number in front of the X is the slope of the graph, which is the value from the slope of the graph, which is in my case negative 9.45, 9.8. That's good, it's better value meter per second squared. And then PE, this let me write it down here. Uh, and PE from graph one, which will be equal uh, slope of the graph. Okay. And PE maybe is minus 9.81 minus. C44 divided by 
Yes, open bracket negative 9.81, close bracket minus 7. Oh. oh, this one should be 9.45. Okay, so it's just about like 3.5 percentage. Next looks good. Let's copy that function. Here we have the case A for graph 1 versus G0. Right then for the graph 2, I'm gonna uh, make a new graph, insert, scatter, just graph sheet without anything. Insert, scatter, first option. Okay, then we'll double click on the graph, then chart design, select data, and x values is still the time. But uh, this graph you can pick from the uh, pick, uh, pick the numbers, including zero, if you don't anything on y, but uh, y value should be displacement. And click OK, click OK again. see okay looks good positive sign click axis title trend line double click on the trend line last option trend option and then click those two Okay, should be good. And let's see. Let me redo that graph. Double click, chart design, select data, and x axis time, y axis, everything deleted, y value. Click OK, click OK. Looks good. Design, trend line, axis title, trend line options. Last icon here, last two click. make sure for the second graph it should be polynomial okay second order now it should be good all right so it looks good then axis time uh, chart title you can write like maybe i'm going to ball uh, displacement and then x axis again time and y axis Yes, y displacement unit meters. Okay, and number in front of y multiplied by two should be the gravity. Then this two multiplied by negative five point one seven eight one. Five point one seven eight one plus brackets. I'm getting like 10.3, they are a little bit higher than what we expected, but average wise it's fine. So this is gonna be then T from graph two that should be equal to multiply by negative 5.1781. For this case okay all right that's the first case and then this is the picture of the simulator which means go to the simulator here take uh, maybe sniffing tool on windows we can take a simple picture of this 
resolve part then let's save that picture into the picture folder and then i can add that into here okay this picture should go there And just click and drag or maybe if they're not working then you can do insert illustration pictures this device and then find the picture itself right there okay then make it a smaller in size and leave it here all right, that looks good. Then for the case two, we need to use same uh, video analyzer. I need new cam. Then I gonna insert uh, tennis ball. It's the same exact process. Okay. You put the tennis ball in same way. You put the uh, you do all the other functionalities and then extract the data and then that data has to go into the uh, into the tennis ball table okay so that's it it's uh, that simple let me go over that in a bit all right so rotate this uh, filters view rotate negative 90 degree right click clip setting time should be put it in for 240 and then we'll bring this starting point to somewhere i think 560 or so no 300 check where it is releasing from the hand yeah somewhere there maybe like 200 any of those values i think fine yeah somewhere there maybe two or three and then we'll put the axis and then we'll put new calibration stick shift and one click exactly at zero point shift and one click around here it should be 1.829 meters create point mass shift and one click center of the ball then we'll move this two frame at a time until it goes away from the previous point shift and one click this should be y position shift and one click we'd like again to a later point five six Seven, eight, nine, eleven. That should be good enough. Nice shape. Then let's copy a time back in here. So the time is fine it's starting at zero i can just put it into there here without any problem the problem is the y position that where we need to make it zero purposefully this number has to get rid of right so we'll copy it that's a negative number now remember if it is a positive number we subtracting if it is a negative number we have to add it okay 
right here because we are lifting up all the numbers equal put zero there purposely and then this number has to lift it up which means we have to add that negative value technically putting two negative numbers together it adding up okay so that's the idea okay so we need to uh, make it positive purposely because we need to lift it up okay. you can drag this Okay, so right here that is a function I'm using for this guy. Okay, this is G number 55. That should go there. Paste it as a special. Okay, that's important because it's a calculated value. Special, this should be unit meter. This should be unit second. Should be unit meter per second. While it's calculated the velocity, displacement, sorry, two multiplied by two multiplied by displacement over time. Good. And then click and drag. We'll make all of these numbers. Normal numbers, not the scientific notation with four significant four decimal places. Okay, oh, my time values actually. I think I did not correct the time values earlier. I think here I need to correct it very quickly. Uh, clip setting it should be at 204. Mistake. Take it out very quickly. Time values again should be small values. You can easily identify if it is wrong. Okay. Yeah, now it's good. Okay. These values. Now it's good because the velocity seems to be larger. That's why I double check that. Okay, make sure you check that carefully. All right, now all looks good. Uh, let's see. All right, let's do the two graphs. Technically, uh, it is the same two graph, only the data you need to edit. So I'm going to do this way instead of remaking, I'm going to copy paste this graph, the first graph, okay? So you can click on this graph then copy it, paste it elsewhere, anywhere. Then you click and drag nearby this table and then double click, chart design, select data, then click series one, click edit. Then you erase all the X values from the previous table. Scroll down to table uh, table six and then select time values there. Then you erase all the Y values from previous table. Scroll down to table six, select uh, velocity values from there. Okay, edit. Anything on the previous table on X, erase it. Scroll down to table number six. Time values is keeping the zero. Erase anything on velocity, y values. Table number six. Select column D. Click OK. Click OK. Now this is new velocity time graph. This is tennis ball. That's it. Then we don't need to do a lot of other editing. It's very simple right here and the next graph also you can do the same way instead of making graph new click on the previous graph displacement time copy and paste it and click and drag click and drag and double click channel design select data series one edit Delete anything on X point. Scroll down to the table six. 
time starting from zero. Delete anything on y. Scroll down to the table six. Anything on starting from zero, column B. That is display time. Click OK. Click OK again. Then you don't need to do any other editing. It automatically fix. Okay. Only thing you need to do is get rid of this golf and then type tennis there. And then this also you can uh, type here the name of this graph, graph of um, my velocity versus my for very small by distance and very small. With gravitational constant from graph one in number in front of the x, which is the slope negative 10.0, negative 10.25, 10 and from the displacement graph, which is equal to multiplied by parentheses minus 5.0156. Close bracket. Oops. 0156. What the same in this case? The e equal to ds minus 9.81 minus c90 divided by ds minus 1 close bracket. About 4 percentage error for both. So it's uh, get rid of the decimals until we see only two sig figs. All right, looks good, and they should be measured in unit. Second uh, squad. All right, and you have to add the function, right? So the g is graph one is equal look of the graph. G from graph two is equal to multiply by number in minus five point zero one seven. Equation. All right, all of those there. Then we'll take a look the coffee table and tab. Let's put the coffee. The coffee filter here. Okay, you need to wait a few minutes until it's added up. Okay, then rotate the video. Filters, new, got it, negative 90. Make sure you check the time first. Right click, keep setting to 40. This filter is from the hand around frame number, I think 500 something. We need to figure out 400 something. About like 450 or so. Yeah, that's good. About 460, then we'll keep this here. Add a new meter stick. New meter stick. Shift. And one click. Calibration is the shift and one click here. Shift another click at the end right here. This distance is still six uh, feet eight to nine. One point eight to nine. Then we just collect the data point mass. Shift and one click. First data point doesn't matter. 
I would make this like three frames at one click. Okay, try to get more data at the very end of this that I think makes our final uh, results better in this case because we expecting drag force right now. Covalta eventually will reach the terminal velocity, what we call the acceleration downward is no longer the gravity, it's really, really small value or oh, almost zero. Okay, that's what we try to see here. Coming up, but not too much. But to get more data towards the very end, you don't need to collect data closer to each other like we done on other two objects. Try to get data a little bit further away and then more data towards the end. Okay, back. I think good enough. And then we do the anal analyze, analysis from this here directly. If you double, if you right click on this graph and you will see the analyze, click on that. Just one click, open up this new, that new table. We can use all the, do the, all the analysis here. Then click the analyze, click curve fit. Then right here, select, instead of linear, select parabola. Then if you look this number in front of A, multiply by two should be the gravity earlier, but now multiply by two, you can see it just like negative two. So that confirming this is actually dropping very, very lower acceleration than the gravity because of extra force acting upward that is called the drag force, okay? Now this part right here, you take a picture. Uh, new snap tool we take picture of this whole part because that anal analysis part important just this part is enough then save it and then add that into our table here let's say may insert illustration pictures this device and you select that the other picture uh, it did not save properly. Let me take a look why. Snipping tool. I to save it. Okay, should be okay now. Let's go here again. Insert illustration pictures, this device, okay now, that goes here, okay, that's the picture we need there, all right, now, by looking into that picture, if you look at the number B, which is in front of T, that we call the terminal velocity when acceleration is zero, but this is not zero, but very low, we'll pick that as a terminal velocity negative 6.9, to six meter per second negative direction and then that's it all right i'm going to stop here reach out with any questions